In my last video, I explored the wonders of texture mosaic from the Phono Loop, but I wanted to cover the rest of what the Phono Loop has to offer, because these libraries really are something. It's not often you find libraries that were recorded directly to cassette tape, and the following examples are magical in my opinion. So relax and enjoy the sounds of this cassette series of libraries. You wouldn't think it to start, but there's a warmth and texture that cassette tape brings to samples which give them a chameleon-like charm. Whether you're going for a vintage hip-hop sound, sound a dream pop sound for vape fans some pack 
pastel colour onto your orchestra. These sounds can be a priceless commodity for any composer, and I think they should be kept handy at all times. You may notice some composers have lucky charms they use on almost every project they work on, like distorted reality and bizarre guitar for example. Well, these libraries have made their way into that category for me, and I'll be using them on anything and everything from now on. They're not just one dimensional libraries either, they come with a bunch of snapshots that are surprisingly usable with some even being reminiscent of sounds from old TV shows and movies like Columbo or Willy Wonka. These are fun to play, easy to work with, and sound like nothing else out there, except maybe a Mellotron. Also, if you appreciate vintage style beats, Break Geek and Influential Kit are affordable packages with that old school sound. They're both provided as wave packages, so I've mapped the sounds in contact here. Break Geek has a bunch of interesting loops. And it also comes with the individual drum samples. And Influential Kit comes with a ton of kicks, snares and other pieces.
Now I'm using contact 6, so if you would like to have these patches, you'll have to be using contact 6 as well to be able to load them. I'll leave the link to them in the description. All of the drum sounds have velocity response with a slight low pass filter that kicks in at lower velocities, and the loops have volume control via the mod wheel. All in all, the Phono Loop is an important developer because it's uncommon to find samples recorded to cassette, and if cassette tape ever does become non-existent, these samples will be true rarities. They sound wonderful, and they feel like they were sent from the past. And that's that. I'll see you next time with some more libraries. Check you later.